sometimes we sit and we be so self-conscious of the things that we have and the things that we don't have and this and so forth. And one of the things about our ancestors is the fact that they were just happy to have something to survive. And sometimes in our mental state, we need to get back to that point of a little bit more gratitude and a little bit more self-conscious. We know why we self-conscious. We know the deeper reasons why we're feeling self-conscious. You know, sometimes it can feel like it's parasitic beings that come in other races that makes us feel, you know, a little bit less thin. And sometimes the parasitic beings can come in what looks like us. You know, some people just want to hurt you just to hurt you because it's fun and it's entertaining to them. But we need to find a way to build up our own self-esteem. And no matter how your house is, no matter how your apartment is, no matter how your room is, if that's all that you have, I don't care if you're sleeping in a car, it's yours. I know it feels like it's not something that you should be proud of, you know, but it's still yours. And you are doing your best. You know, I wanted to start off this video just by saying that. Um, I got something in the mail today. I'm going to put a mat up under there because if you live in, live in a certain space and you have certain people come to fix on your stuff and things like that, Sometimes they don't fix it the right way and you have to go ahead and get stuff for yourself. Um, so I'm going to open this and I'm going to put this in my fridge now. I'm going to start out by, you know, removing some of this stuff. If y'all see old dishes, it's from stuff that I didn't kept from when... I first moved into my first apartment. There are dishes from my grandmother. There are dish I mean, there are pots and pans from my grandmother, from my mother, from my aunt, you know, and you know how some of us feel about our family, you know, especially when they're no longer here. We want to keep that stuff, you know? Um, it's kind of like a nostalgic thing. So, yeah. So if you see them kind of old, it's because it's stuff that's been passed down literally stuff that they didn't had in the 60s and things like that and i'm all about the old stuff like i said i represent my ancestors all the way to vacuum down here too i use my vacuum for everything y'all this little thing i love this it's so light and i just i know a lot of people got the bigger ones but i love the fact that i can just do everything i vacuum my bathroom with it forget just using a broom i started off with using a broom but my vacuum i like this little thing and it did not cost that much money either So that's always a good thing. Put that on over there. All right. I don't know if it's full, cool. maybe a latch or something. It took me forever to get this thing for myself. It did. It took me forever. My ancestors, I kept on hearing them through energetic vibrations, constantly telling me, um, asking me why I don't do more things for myself. And some of those things, y'all be like, maybe I should get this. Maybe I shouldn't. And we do that. Sometimes we tend to do things for others before we do it for ourselves. And... 
And we always, what they caught me up in is the fact that I always make excuses. Why I shouldn't have this. Why I shouldn't give myself this. Why I shouldn't give myself that. Or I don't really need it. Maybe later. And I have like this wish list on Amazon that I kind of just keep there. Sometimes I use it. Uh, I mean, sometimes it's like periodically I buy things off of there or I get things off of there. But it's like I'm always spending whatever monetary um, value I get on someone else and never on myself. And they gets, gets on me about that because sometimes I even spend it on things that they like too. And I tell them, hey, you ain't complaining when I buy it for you. When I buy this other little thing that I might put on an altar or put around your space. No, you ain't complaining then, but I get their point. They want me to think about myself too. I'm important, and you need to think about yourself too. You are more important than you actually know. I know sometimes we can go through that through days where someone doesn't tell us how important and valued and needed and beautiful and handsome we are. Well, I'm telling you today, all those things. <laughs> I had tried before to put, um, I had tried before to put, um, um, what is it? It's not wallpaper, but it's like the lining that can go in cabinets, but it wouldn't stick. So I'm going to try this mat, y'all. I am excited for this thing. The small things. <laughs> So we're going to see what's to this thing. Let me see. It was on sale um, at Amazon for like um, $20. Buy it being like um, it has that rubber material. I think that this is the thing that comes with it. I think that... Um, and my older part looks just like this. <laughs> they look older. They say before and after. They say before and after. Um, okay. And it has compartments where it say that it's supposed to catch. I wish y'all could feel it. Huh, I'm going to feel it for you. I wonder if it's too big, you guys. You see it? This is where um, they say the water is supposed to, um, I can drain it. I can drain it through this part right here. So, let me put it on in here. Let y'all watch. y'all I think it's gonna fit I am ecstatic I'm ecstatic now I might have to roll it up on the edge or something but for the most part or fold it under but for the most part these dimensions right here is perfect it's perfect y'all yes okay
please. Always be too hard. You ain't got no nails. You know? Let me see. Okay, there we go. Get in that a little bit. Okay. They secure it so bad that it's like, do you want me to use it or not? The reason I love this thing, I mean, it's made of plastic, but I love the fact that all it takes is me to rinse it off and it just looks like new. I didn't had it for, wow, I didn't had it for like three years. This, this right here. Yes. Okay, let me get started on these dishes, y'all. And this right here is a lifesaver. I don't like to use those, um, I'm going to show you guys. Wait, let me show you. I use these things periodically, not all the time. Shows how much I like them on have no more. They like the scrubbers. They have like the um the metal um metal part on it, and I don't really like them because I I'm <laughs> a little bit OCD when stuff is touching my hands, and I like that I don't have to touch it that much with this. Um, it's called Lodge. And it's for cleaning pots and things like that. And they kind of like scrape it, scrape the stuff off. And I love that. I just like it. Okay. You guys, I had this pot since I had my first apartment. My mother bought me this set. Um, she gave it to me, actually. She didn't buy it. She just passed it down to me. You know, when you first get your stuff, when you first get your place, depending on how much money your mother or your family, that you know, how much they have, they do what they can. And sometimes they pass down things to you. And that's what a lot of my stuff, my older stuff, I had because, you know, it was passed down to me and I appreciate it. Imagine all the stuff that our ancestors had that they could give us and to think we don't have not one piece of anything. I showed you guys before, um, after my father had passed, there was, he had his grandmother since the 1800s 
um, antique dishware, you guys. Um, if I have time, I may um, insert a part of that in here. You know, just a little part of that so you guys can see see that. It, it, it might be pretty cool. 